Last email comes in from Jim. It's about pocket strats. I'm wondering what your preferred methods of distributing items in your pants pockets are. For me, it's mm. phone and wallet in front left, earbuds in front right, keys in back. Good God, man. Keys in back right and oh. miscellaneous papers or receipts in back left. Why would you sit on your keys? I've tried. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. I've tried changing it up, but it just feels wrong. How do you arrange your pockets? I'm curious. Put my phone in my front left and everything else in the front right. Oh, what? Phone goes in the front right. Front right, I'm, I'm phone, left-handed. wallet, and keys front left. As oh, long as you're... Oh, God damn it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Me and you have the exact same pocket configuration. Yeah, we've established we're basically the same guy. God damn it. As long as your keys aren't attached to a loop of your belt hole and jingle every time you take a step, mm. I'm okay with whatever you want to do. But mm. when people do that, I'm walking down the sidewalk behind them. That's all I can do not to like fucking punch them in the back. Just a bunch of, of jingle jangle. I want a good way to do that when I go running because I usually just I have to have my keys to get back into my apartment, sure. but they're just jangling yes, around. Yes, like, I have a huge problem with that. I've been hide them under your tongue. Get a pair of ruse and then put your house key <laughs> yeah, in the zipper pocket on your shoe. There you go. What a ruse? So Wait, good. are they shoes that have a kangaroo pouch? Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly what. They're <laughs> what are they <laughs> just, supposed to you carry? Just cracked the nut on that uh, '80s marketing. Right oh, there. it's an '80s house yeah. house key, pretty much. Yeah, that's about all you can fit. The latchkey kids, or like a quarter. Yeah, yeah cool. put a quarter in that pocket. What I've, what I've started doing is I have like a felt, or not felt, a fabric a uh, dime headphone. Bag. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> that thing that you're supposed to zip up to put your headphones in. And I, if I smash my keys in there and zip it up, they yeah. can't jingle around Keep as them much. from rattling so, around. Yeah. I've been meaning to start running again, too. And yeah, keys and also like... There's there's so many like good fitness apps, but I'm really mm-hmm. afraid to run with my phone in my pocket because I'm afraid it's I always just gonna do. bounce. You gotta out. get that weird no, armband. No. I just get an armband. No, no, don't. Pocket's fine. Yeah. What you do is you get Bluetooth uh, headphones, so there's no like you know wire that you have to go yeah. down through your shirt or anything. Yeah. I keep uh, like your, most gym shorts will keep your phone in there. I mean, mm-hmm. I ran probably 15 miles this weekend. And, like doesn't yeah. bounce out at all. You get some fancier ones that have zipper pockets That's too, true. if you want, yeah. Yeah. or just like yeah. a light jacket with some zipper pockets or something. Yeah, yeah. That if it's cold enough for a hoodie or something, that makes it way easier. That, that would work, I guess. Whatever the configuration, make sure you don't sit on your wallet for any yeah. certain amount of time because that will fuck up your back. It's surprisingly bad for your back. Yeah. But I'm with you. How the fuck does somebody sit on their keys? That sounds like a nightmare. Yeah. yeah. Hey, here's a dumb thing. So I uh, <laughs> I found on. we're talking about wallets. And Can stuff. we just like could you cut that out and put that at the very beginning of the podcast <laughs> so everyone knows what's to come? <laughs> so okay, I found a wallet at uh, in front of a bank while I was running or nice. walking or something That's like the best place to find one. Yeah. A, month, a month or two ago. So it's got this guy's ID in there. It's got like four bucks. It's got a credit card for Chase Bank. It's got a student ID for a college that's like in Carlsbad, California. Okay. And they had a CPR card or whatever. Yeah. And I took it home and I tried every way I could to get a hold of this guy. Mm-hmm. To you where him on Facebook. I did. That's the first thing I did. I found him on Facebook and I sent him a message. Being it was totally the same yeah, guy. But it goes to his other thing instead of his real exactly. inbox. So I never heard back him. from there. So I called Chase Bank, being like, "Hey, this is one of your customers. You know, can you get a hold of him or something?" And they uh, said, "Like, yeah, we've got his email address and file. We can do this. We can give him your phone number or whatever." They're like, "Cool." I also called the CPR training place because uh-huh. I had a number for the training place. And I talked to a lady being like, yeah, you guys trained this guy on CPR. Can you tell him I've got his phone? Like, yeah, we'll call him. So I tried every possible way to get a hold of this guy. Is there no address on the on the ID card or anything? Like a uh, driver's license or something like that? There was a driver's license. I guess there's a, yeah, that, there's like a Carl's <laughs> uh, You don't know if he's moved. I mean, yeah, I don't just want to mail a wallet with like a credit card. And no. So without knowing for sure it's going to the right guy. What a lot of people, like apparently pickpockets in New, in New York, when they pickpocket somebody, they take all the cash out, they take the cards, and they just drop the rest in a mailbox, like an actual USPS mailbox, and they'll, apparently they'll, will try to, their oh, best really? to return it to whoever. Huh. Okay, my Because they don't need that. the IDs or anything like that. But. Okay. No, don't well, worry so, about mailing. Just drop it in a mailbox and they'll, they'll, the guy will know. Crazy. They'll okay. steal everything. I don't know. Well, yeah, the, the thing is, so now it's been like a couple months, and I just have this wallet, and it's like I don't know what to do with it. That's totally useless. Well. Jeez. What's that? Yeah, it's Two been months. a long time. Like, I've given up on being able to get this back to the guy. So I've been thinking, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of bad business in San Francisco, a bunch of bad parts of town you don't want to walk around. Uh, I've seen people get their phone stolen right a in front of me on the bus wallet. and stuff. Ah, yeah. I so what it. if I started carrying around this dude's wallet with me all the time? So if someone says, like, hey, I'm going to stab you if you don't give me your wallet, I throw this wallet at him, and I keep all my stuff. <laughs> I'm genuinely considering. Actually, I think it's in my commuter bag right now. You, you just pulled like the hardest turn from trying to help this guy out to completely fucking. Well, no, over. take out, take out identifying well, stuff. Okay, okay. So it's just a wallet with like four bucks in it, and put in some like bullshit like subway card or well, something. You don't need to use another person's real wallet for that. You could just go buy another wallet. Well, I mean, I have this wallet now. I guess is that I'd- a good idea? Uh, because I'm going to feel so awesome if I get mugged and I'm like, oh, no, here's my wallet. And then I'm like, ha, 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 I still got my wallet. <laughs> you got to make That's sure you gonna feel throw so it cool. as far as you can. Yeah, you and that. act real distraught, like, oh, no. And it's like, hey. 
The out. worst I've ever done is like pulled w- cash out of my wallet and put it in my sock. If I feel like I'm because you know some parts of San Jose are genuinely scary. Oh yeah, my girlfriend's neighborhood is not the best, uh, but uh, that's about as far as. I'm oh yeah, I saw some lady get a phone stolen right out of her hands on the bus uh, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, right. Was she sitting here next to it? She was. Right, yep, she was yep, on yep. her phone. Uh, her husband careful. was right next to her, yeah. and this guy just goes whoop, just took it. She screamed. He ran off the bus. Yep, yeah. that will happen. That was the end of it. Hmm. Yep. But if you had a, if that was a fake phone she had. Yeah, <laughs> decoy phone. <laughs> Which, I, I started thinking about this too, Jeff, because oh, it's a I, million dollar idea. I just bought a twelve dollar decoy iPad, uh-huh. which feels and looks exactly like a real I iPad. I hit it off my head and it hurt. Yeah, it's More, a heavy. I, was, I think it was heavier than a real iPad. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I, that's another thing that's like, oh, give me your iPad too. Like, oh no, there's my iPad. Yeah, it's if totally you, not. If you do a decoy shit like that, you got to have some kind of like die pack in there to really fuck them up if they steal the it. Blows up in their face. Yeah. No, I just don't want to get stabbed. I don't give a shit about, you know, yeah, I just don't want to die. What about an iPhone with a knife in it? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Some tango and cash. What if it's like, like a phone with a switchblade? Yeah. All right. I'm into it. Let's do this. You should make that. It's a million dollar idea. Kickstart that. Your uh, iPhone case that's also a blade. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm impressed at the, to the lengths to which you were trying to be a good Samaritan. I, that's that's impressive. Can I can I tell a short version? I'm not of saying that, that it did, I wouldn't do that, but like, oh, I just yeah, I, yeah. I know how much it would suck to lose a wallet. Yeah, but uh, the short version, we were at Pack South, a, a diff- different story. Met a guy that was a fan of Giant Bomb, went to our panel, and I saw him later the night of the Norm McDonald show, and he was like, "Hey, I want to buy you a shot," and I was like, "Okay," and so we took a shot together, and he left. And his card was still there. And I was like, oh, no, God, now i got to find a way to get this back to the guy. So I just walked around PAX with it in my pocket. And it turns out in PAX South, I went to Whataburger a lot. And uh, so, yeah, I just walked in. I see this giant bump fan just sitting there eating a Whataburger and walk up and give him his credit card. And he was just like, wait, what the hell just happened here? Like- <laughs> <laughs> Dan Riker, credit card delivery service. Yeah. <laughs> It's good stuff. That Whataburger was pretty okay. Oh, my God. That place is amazing. I don't know that I've ever had one. That was the only time I'd ever had one.